This is the PF3Cl2 Lewis structure. For PF3Cl2, we have a total of 40 valence electrons. Phosphorus is the least electronegative. We'll put that in the center, and then we'll put the fluorines and the chlorines around it. We have 40 valence electrons for the PF3Cl2 Lewis structure. We'll put lines between atoms to form chemical bonds. Each line represents two valence electrons. We've used 10 valence electrons. Now we'll go around the outside atoms to complete their octets or until we run out of electrons. So we have 10, 12, and 40 valence electrons. So at this point, we've used all 40 valence electrons for the PF3Cl2 Lewis structure. Each of the atoms on the outside, the chlorines and the fluorines, they have eight valence electrons, so their octets are satisfied. Phosphorus in the center actually has 10 valence electrons around it. But that's okay, phosphorus is below period two, row two, of the periodic table. It can have an expanded octet. If you check the formal charges for the atoms in this Lewis structure, you'll see that all of the atoms have a formal charge of zero. So this is the Lewis structure for PF3Cl2. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.